health savings accounts, also known as HSAs. Um, they're probably one of my more favorite investment accounts that are out there, um, primarily for the tax benefits. But what are HSAs? Well, they're a, a tax efficient way for you to save for future health issues that might arise. Reason I say they're my favorite is because it's one of the only accounts that has that triple tax benefit. So you put money into them, you get that tax deduction, the funds then grow tax free in the market or however you invest them. And then when you take the money out as long as you use the money for qualified medical expenses, you get a tax break from that as well. You get to take them out tax free. So it's an awesome account. However, there are a bunch, of, a bunch of rules associated with those HSAs, so you want to make sure you understand them. One of them is not everybody can have an HSA, okay? So you have to make sure that your health plan is a high deductible health plan. So what does that mean? Well, your annual minimum deductible for a self-only individual has to be $1,500 or more. For a family, that's $3,000 or more annually. And then also you got to make sure that your annual max out of pocket isn't too steep either. So the max for a self-only covered person is $7,500 annually, and then for a family that's $15,000 annually. So if your health plan falls into those limits, then and only then can you contribute to an HSA account. But you can't just contribute as much money as you want to it. There are limits to that as well. And for a single um, covered person for 2023, that max contribution is $3,850 for 2023. And then for a family, that's $7,750 for 2023. So that's the most that you can put into those health savings accounts on an annual basis. Now, there's one little catch to that as well, which is pretty neat, is that if you're age 55 or older, you get what's called a catch-up contribution of $1,000 annually. So you can contribute a little bit more than a, another person if you're getting closer to retirement and you're past that, that magical age of 55. Um, so that's really neat. Now, we've got the money in the HSA account, you're, you're doing that, but what about when it comes time to take money out of the account? That's where you gotta be careful, okay? Because you can only use these HSA funds for qualified medical expenses, okay? So you wanna make sure that you understand what is not and what is an actual qualified medical expense. So that's why when you're thinking about, hey, do I have the ability to contribute to an HSA? Can I even have one? And what does that look like when I take money out? Make sure that you're speaking with somebody. Maybe it's your, your accountant or your financial advisor, get with them so you understand all the little intricacies with that HSA account. It's a very valuable and powerful retirement planning tool, and it's something that if you have available to you, I highly suggest you look into it.